So this is my today analysis on good in GBP USD. Today is 28th of March. As uh, sorry, 26th of March 2024. So if you watch the analysis I dropped yesterday, I told you guys that I will be looking to buy good from somewhere here and also I'll be looking for a sell that anyone that I saw the confirmation first that I will take but unfortunately both of them didn't give me any confirmation so I didn't take any trade that's why I didn't post any signal on my telegram channel because I don't want to rush trade I don't rush trade I don't mind if I trade once in a week or twice in a week but what I'm, uh, what I'm always after is for a trade to be a win or for the for me to, as I always want to make sure that any trade I'm taking meet all my trading plans, meet all the criteria I'm looking for before I take a trade. So that's why I don't rush to trade. Yeah, market came into this zone. I was looking looking at I was waiting to, as in waiting for a buy. But unfortunately, I didn't see any clear buy confirmation here. There is no door button here for me. I didn't see any clear setup here. So let me not even start, let me not even start mentioning the setups I need. I didn't see any clear setup here. And when it came into this zone, it was somewhere here, but I was started, started looking for buy sell from somewhere here and this zone as well. I didn't see any sell confirmation, all this thing drop. I didn't see any sell confirmation and it went up again and rejected from this zone and drop. I see, didn't see any sell confirmation, but you guys can see that it's not really doing anything. It's ranging, it's consolidating. Because if someone take a sell from here, definitely the, the trade will take, will take the best out from some from as in this particular candle we take the person out because you put your stop loss here this one will take you out and if person even take a sale from here i'm not i'm not sure that this might continue it might still go up here and take you out so it's ranging it's not really doing anything so that's why i didn't trade i didn't post anything I'm, i've not seen any clear confirmation for sale or for buy it's ranging so we have to wait and see a clear direction of where gold is going right now it's not really doing anything this is four hours time frame this is four hours time frame you can see the four hours time frame is somehow ranging i don't know what it is even doing here so it really need to come down to take out this low for you to have a clear direction of where it's going or you really need to go up and take out this high here or take out this one with with full body candle for we to know where it's really going and this is daily time frame there is nothing here on daily time frame as i told you guys before this is the this is this level is a strong support and is reacting to it you can see that i marked it out i was looking for a buy from here but unfortunately i didn't see any good buy which is this is the level here on 15 minute time frame but i didn't see any good setup for buy and it's not really moving so i didn't take any trade so when I see a good setup, then I will take and I will post it on my Telegram channel. I don't rush to trade. I don't mind if I trade once in a week. Because it's better I trade a, I take a trade that I know that, okay, it meets all my trading plan. Yeah. Than rushing into a trade in and out. Because this forex trading, our strategy is not our problem. The reason why some people are not successful is not their strategy. Is their mindset, is their psychology, is fear of missing out, lack of patience. They can't wait for 
trade for their setup to complete before they take a trade. Some people cannot stay even a day without trading. That's a bad character. You must not trade every day. Unless maybe your strategy is working that way, it gives you, it gives you confirmation every day. You keep trading every day. But another, every strategy that keep giving you confirmation every day, every day, back to back. I don't know, let me not say. There is a lot of way people trade in forest trade, people trade in this forest market. But any strategy that gives you confirmation back to back every day, I don't know how it should look like because also there will be fake confirmations from those confirmations that strategy giving you every day back to back because no strategy was 100% or works, works accurate all the time. So I have not seen any confirmation for days now and I'm not bothered about it. I have to keep waiting on I see a clear confirmation, guys. So this is GBP USD. So again, you can see that GBP USD is ranging from here since yesterday. But actually, look at the this is the zone I'm looking at for for a, for a sale. If you get to this zone, I will look for a sale, but I have not got into the zone. So I have not done it on this GBP USD, but my analysis on Sunday, yeah, I think it's also on on Friday. If you watch the video, I say that if anybody want to counter GP, this person should buy from somewhere here, which that is a triple bottom here, and he broke it and come back to retest it. So if anybody took a buy from here, that person would have made money by now. So watch. My analysis I did on Saturday, you will see it. I call it out if anybody wants to counter it. But I told you then that I will not do it. I didn't do it. I didn't counter any trade. But it worked out very well because I know that if you use it, must go up somewhere here to reject from this resistance or it will break it. One thing must happen, it will reject from here and drop down or it will break it and start going up. So that's why I call out this trade. Say whoever wants to counter it should counter it, but I didn't take it. And if anybody did, at least it's already gone over one to two in profit. So that one is the win for the person. So this is the four hour time for him. So it broke all this, all these higher lows and higher highs. So it's coming back. Nobody know the exact support is going to use. So yes, the exact resistance is going to use. But I know that definitely is going to get to this because if you look on daily time frame, you will see clearly on daily time frame. So look at the drop. And this is imbalances. This is imbalance. I believe that it has to go up to provide this imbalance to come to this zone before it will start dropping again. So that's what I'm seeing here. And let's just see what it's going to do. But if I start seeing a new setup on four hours time frame, I might change the levels I'm looking at, but now I've not seen anything. So let's just keep waiting and see what it will do and let more data develop. So we can use more data to read the market. So guys, that is it. Nothing really to, nothing, I didn't see anything really to do right now. On gold and GP USD, but where they are now, I'm, I can't do anything. I can't do anything on that zone. So let's just see how it will look like as more data develop. So thanks, guys, and God bless.